Aristotelian dramas. Dramas focus on the passion, madness, dreams, epiphanies, and inner workings of the human heart in full spectrum emotional glory. The types of choices your characters make under extreme pressure will reveal who they are to us. Once again, how do they react? Your intellectual life prepares you in a sense for your emotional life. Your inner reality is mirrored by your outer world situation or plot. So what are the plot and theme goals of your own life so far? How can you cannibalize these ideas for your film? In Aristotelian dramas, the protagonist changes one character trait 180 degrees. Usually this involves overcoming their worst flaw that is blocking the character from achieving their main goals. If you change, you will succeed. The protagonist changes throughout the story by learning from their experiences in the plot. These dramatic changes are also called character arcs. A character could change from being a follower to a leader, self-destructive to self-love, problems communicating to a clear communicator, unkind to kind, insecure to confident, or reckless to responsible. What big inner changes have you had to make to accomplish goals in your life? So that's a good place to start because you'll be able to use that experience or those experiences to get to that truth we were talking about earlier. How can you cannibalize these life experiences for your film? The protagonist usually changes 180 degrees by overcoming his worst flaw that is blocking him from achieving his main goals. So you want to go back and look at the flaws that you came up with for your protagonist. Audiences like to see characters change in little gross spurts, not in some huge sweeping about face in the middle of the film. So this does happen sometimes in life where something really traumatic or big or extreme happens and people are just changed in an instant, like a near-death experience type thing. But usually people and characters change a lot slower. It's if you've ever tried to lose weight or do something like that, you have some good days and you have some bad days and you two steps forward three steps back kind of thing and people are used to this it's hard to change sometimes especially a flaw something you probably are aware of and to change it 180 degrees um, takes time so you're gonna we're gonna talk about how you're gonna show this so as I go through this next part be thinking of your character and what flaw could be blocking them from achieving their main goals the focus in dramas is on watching the character grow and change while overcoming a series of plot obstacles. A beautifully told story is a symphonic unity in which structure, setting, character, genre, and idea meld seamlessly. To find their harmony, the writer must study the elements of story as if they were instruments of an orchestra, first separately, then in concert. That was from Robert McKee's book, Story. And that's what we're basically doing. We're studying all these instruments and then you're gonna put it together and create this masterpiece. What is 180 degree character arc change? A completely life altering change or shift in perspective or view of themselves in life. Usually the protagonist becomes conscious of this big change right around the climax during some sort of epiphany type moment where they suddenly see the light of truth. So they, they get a new mindset, they're, they're like a different person. All characters must be constantly growing and changing with traits that distinguish them from each other in this type of drama. You don't want characters that all have the same flaw necessarily. You want those trait sets to really be able to bounce off each other and you want to, all the characters change, not just the main character sometimes. You'll, you'll see all these different characters going through arcs where they're all learning and growing and changing and having their own little epiphany depending on the shape of the story. Things do not change, we change. This is a diagram of the way a character arc changes 180 degrees throughout the course of a story. For example, if a character was going from innocent to corrupt, then wisdom and balance their arc would look like this. So they start as innocent, then they go to corrupt at the top of the change, then they end up at wisdom and balance. So they're, they're finding a balance between being innocent and corrupt. 
Notice how the size of the obstacles in the middle of the curve relate to the amount of change. So the bigger the obstacles, the more life or death, the higher the stakes, the bigger the change. At the height of the curve, the character has changed quite a bit. And this you could lay over the three-act structure curve, where at the height of the curve, that's the middle of Act 2. On the last half of the character arc, he or she is incorporating these new changes into their way of being and showing us this change by the way the character once again reacts to obstacles. So their reactions are going to tell us that they have this new mindset. Audiences like to see characters change in little growth spurts. Sudden abrupt changes in characters are not as believable as ones where the character learns to be a new way through trial and error over time. That's more realistic. Some characters may suddenly change due to shocking or extreme experiences. And we already talked about that a little bit, but just keep that in mind. We don't want, you're going to show them changing. So they're probably going to notice their flaw at the end of Act 1, beginning of Act 2. Then they're going to start changing it. They're going to get really into changing it with all the obstacles in the middle of Act 2. And then they're going to have that epiphany around Act 3. During the like right, right before the climax, usually or around there, and then we're going to watch the rest of Act Three, kind of their new way of being, sort of thing. Creating character arcs. Your main characters must evolve, learn, change, or grow to accomplish plot and theme goals. This growth is called a character arc and is often related to the theme of the story. In the movie Wall Street, Charlie Sheen's character is the protagonist, representing the theme of how greed leads to corruption. So he's the main character. He's like this young uh, stockbroker kind of guy on Wall Street. He's learning the ropes and he's trying to figure out you know, how he can be successful in this world. We watch him struggle to find a balance between integrity and greed in the cutthroat world of high finance. Theme of the film, greed leads to corruption. Protagonist plot goal, to become a successful businessman. So that's what he wants, that's his outward goal. Protagonist theme goal, to find a balance between integrity and greed or corruption in the business world. So this is his inner goal, we talked about that. So he has to find a balance to become a successful businessman. Arc. His art goes from innocent to corrupt, then to wisdom on how to balance greed and integrity to get the job done. So do you see how all these things fit together? Character arc chart. So as I go through this chart, look at your character and see which arc would fit best with them. Character begins as this, and then character's gonna change into this. So I'm gonna go through a list. Character begins as innocent, then becomes corrupt, then finds balance. That was our example in Wall Street. Character starts as thoughtless, and then ends up as wise. They think about what they say more, they think about what they're doing. Character starts as uptight, ends up easygoing. Starts angry with the world, ends up happy to be alive. Starts as an atheist, ends up really spiritual starts being prejudiced about certain persons or a group and then ends up seeing the unity in all life. Starts being stuck or trapped in life, ends becoming unstuck and free. Starts brutal. Decide on a character arc right now for your protagonist. So I want you to just get that before we go on any further. State what they begin as in the story and how they end completely different in that one respect. And once again, try to tie it to their plot goal, their theme goal, and the theme of the film, as in the examples that we looked at. Thank you.